Hey guys, Enermon here, and today we're going to be starting a new series on uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. It's like a prequel to the game. Now, the reason why... Okay, here's the thing. Here's some a backstory a little bit for why I'm doing this. I played through Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2 on my own. Absolutely loved the games. If you guys have been paying attention to, like, my Twitter or whatever, you know that uh, I, I absolutely just, like enjoyed every second of those games but i started playing through the prequel i played about an hour of this uh dlc or whatever but then again it wasn't even a true hour because i was trying to get uh like understand all of the uh, combat mechanics and stuff that changed so it wasn't like a true hour of gameplay but yeah so it's gonna be a blind playthrough excluding the first like 45 minutes or so probably um but i can use that time to explain to you guys uh, you know, all the stuff that you might not know about this game. If you do know about this game, then, I don't know, maybe you want to skip the first episode or something if you just want to see true blind reactions. But I'll be going over my thoughts of how what I think about the game so far, of what I've seen. So we're going to have to delete my, my save file, which is unfortunate. But yeah, we'll be doing that. So the, yeah, again, this is a prequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So if you haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles 1 or 2, you don't need to worry about that because... It doesn't really matter. Like, you can watch this as its own standalone game, its standalone series. So you don't really have to worry about, like, oh, I don't know anything about Xenoblade. No, it's gonna kind of go over it. I mean, there are some things to be like, oh, if I knew that, you know, that'd be kind of cool. But as a starter game, some people even recommend doing the DLC before Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Which is interesting. I don't agree with that, based on some of the things I've already seen, again, in the hour I've played of this. Uh, that I'm gonna redo, because, you know, I wanna start fresh and everything. But I feel like you should still play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 before you play the Torn of Golden Country. But what, it's whatever, it's whatever. This will be fun. Uh, we're going to be just doing a new game. Yeah, I know. If you save after deleting it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know. Normal. We're not doing easy mode. And yeah, we'll, we'll just go through this. I think there's an opening cutscene that I'll let you guys watch. Um, besides that, yeah, there is. Nintendo... See, so it's gonna kind of like lay down the story a little bit. The this is very in the future. The <laughs> crater, Rodalis, has sent an armed expedition against the country of Sia. Its capital, Amranta, fell overnight and sank beneath the clouds, along with the rest of the Titan. The destruction of Sia shocked all the nations of all rest. Officially, the act was attributed to a military alliance led chiefly by Indol and the emerging power of Mor Ardain. In fact, it had been the work of one blade, the Aegis. A Blades man are known as Malos. Basically sentient weapons, Said kind of. Be the architect's word and card. will go over a little bit. Back then, well, I can explain a little bit. Nor myself bit. knew how closely his fate would prove to be tied with ours in the days to come. Hello, peculiar You're penguins. That eager to die? Then allow me to assist. So one thing I noticed is that they really do just throw you right in the middle of like a war. Uh, stuff that's going on. If you played Xenoblade Chronicles two, then you would. You would know kind of a little bit of the backstory of the war, which is again why I don't feel like playing this before Xenoblade Chronicles 2 makes any sense. But you can still understand what's happening. You, you know there's a war going on at this point in time. You don't necessarily need to know what it is. I mean, and Malos, he's not a good guy, that's for sure. And again, a reminder, um, I played for the first like 45 minutes or so. But it's fine because it took forever to, for me to get a hand of the controls of this new combat system. So it's good that I played a little bit of it already. Uh, so I don't have to relearn all of this crazy combat system that uh, I had. It's alright. So that's Jin, and I forgot the girl's name. I'm sure I'll remember what it is as we continue playing this game, but I, I already forgot her name. I know what it is, I should know what it is, but... I don't know. <laughs> Hello, excellent gamer. But this is gonna be basically the tutorial battle, I'm pretty sure. They do a good job of explaining it all. I think it's more of the menu system that I wanted to learn that took me a while, because whenever I'm in a, or jumping into a new game, 
I like I'm all on Google trying to figure out like, okay, how do I do this? How do I level up this? Like trying to learn everything at once. Blood. It's driving them crazy. Which is takes me a long time, but it's alright. So I'm wondering if I actually played a 45 minutes of the game, or if it was like only a half hour. Because I was learning so much. Alright, so yeah, R is target. I know all this basic stuff, auto attacks. If you don't know the combat system of this game, I can try to explain it as uh, of going through it, because I don't want to go through the whole tutorial, because I already know about it. But basically, there's arts, you know, over there. They charge every time you do an auto attack. Auto attacks are exactly what they sound like. You're not going to be pressing A for every attack. It just auto attacks as you're playing, and it charges the, uh, the abilities over there. That's that. As you can see, this like a little combo. You can cancel it, this little technique. Try and charge your attacks a little bit faster by moving. Because every time you move in this game, not the first Xenoblade you know, game, but in this one, it cancels your auto attack. So if you want to just do the first part of like the three chain combo of auto attacks, you can move to cancel it. It's a technique I figured out, and apparently it's a well known technique. But yeah, so that's how you can charge up your uh, abilities. And you can also cancel into them too. So, uh, auto attack canceling is pretty cool, which, if it lets me, I can show it. A team is composed of a driver and their blade. So yeah, that's one of the new things in this DLC that um, uh, I was like, I noticed right away. I wish I could have a raw reaction to this, but, I, I, again, I wasn't originally going to record this per se, that's, but then, like, after an 45 minutes, I was like, oh, I really want to, you know, stream this whole thing, because I think it'd be kind of fun. I enjoyed the first two playthroughs on my own, you know, Zoblade 1 and 2. Anyway. This is really cool! I love this! You can use the blades in uh, the base game. You can't use the blades. The blade is uh, the guy. The guy on the right there, for those who don't know. That's Jin. He's a blade. He's not actually human. It's kind of weird. We'll probably go over it a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can actually swap between them, which is cool. I don't know if that's what it was just explaining. I wasn't actually reading it, but you can eventually do that. So you can cancel into the, uh, the charge attacks. If you time it the second an auto attack is done, kind of. So that little blue circle that went up was because I canceled it. Yeah, they didn't actually teach me how to uh, switch into a blade yet, apparently. We'll do that eventually. Oh, another guy. Oh yeah, now they're explaining it, okay. The Vanguard in rear. Uh, let's attack these. Oh, wait, I'm low on health. Yeah, holy crap. Okay. I haven't unlocked my health potion yet. Team's HP reaches zero. Yeah, if you reach zero HP, you die. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Don't don't reach zero HP. Uh, I don't think these guys are going to actually kill me though. Yeah, it's telling me that you can swap. This is a really cool mechanic. So you can cancel your auto attacks into a swap and do like a super cool attack. Actually, I don't think the canceling matters, but it just does more damage. So now I'm this guy, Jin is his name. Laura is the other girl's name apparently. Oh, I forgot, I did not cancel that properly. But yeah, it's kind of cool. He has his own health pool, it looks like. This is basically the combat of this game. It, it gets pretty fun, especially when you have all these abilities and there is a party system too. I'm pretty sure it's the same in this game as the other ones. We're up to three people. So technically that'd be like playing with six characters. You can only play as like two people, I guess, in a time in this. The other four slash two, depending on how you look at it, are AI controlled, but they're still part of your party. A special move that is a cooperative effort between the team members to great effect. Yep. So using arts, which are, you know, the the thing that I've been using, not the auto attacks. Auto attacks, arts, and specials. Those are the only three things you really need to worry about as far as I'm aware. And I guess the swap attack counts as its own thing. Anyway, when you use the arts, you charge your special. Yep. So I use that art there, charge the special. I'm gonna swap back to Laura actually. Get attacking. Because her, uh, her art's charged up now. Now I should be able to use this fancy art. Wait, I've already used that, actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I totally used that without even thinking. Because I just know uh, how this combo works. It's pretty cool. The battles in Xenoblade are really long. Like, this is a level 3 boyo, and this cursed buffalo, buffalo, however you want to pronounce that, they're not going easy on me. Jin is so cool, though. He's such a fun character. 
Sure. I liked uh, using him in the base game. There's the part where you can use him. It's like a special DLC side area. It's pretty cool. Um, how is my uh, volume, by the way, for those in stream? I'm, I'm pretty sure I said it up all right. Oh, they gave me the level 4 special. So, if you max out your specials, look at this. Oh, wait, it's gonna, it's gonna stop. This doesn't normally happen. It's like a cool cinematic attack. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So awesome. I love the music, too. The music in these games are, is actually amazing. Like, it's spectacular. Laura. That's right, Jin has ice powers. I forgot about that. Thank you, Jin. Well, we've got room for improvement. Of what? This fighting style. It magnifies our strength, sure, but it leaves us wide open. When the sword is in my hand, you're left defenseless. What, you won't keep me safe? Huh? I'll keep you safe, always. I'll keep you safe, always. Oh yeah, Blades are also immortal. You, you still remember that? That's why he looks the same as he uh, did. I've thought about it. Back in the past. Every day for these 17 years. They're immortal, I'll never but forget it. a catch. The day you set me free from a life of misery. I see. Alrighty then. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to be doing this stream for about two hours or so, so I'm definitely going to be getting into some new content that I've never seen before. I just need to get through all the stuff that I've already played, um, which isn't too much. It's about... You know, I've said it a few times. All right, the feature that the arrow is pointing to, blah, 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 that's the compass. Yeah, that's where you need to go for quests and stuff like that. You can activate quests. See, this that's the main quest. Pink is main quest. Blue is going to be side quests that you can activate. Why is there no sound? What happened? Okay. This, this lack of sound is scary. Okay, there is sound. It's just being very quiet. New tips. I don't care about the tips. Check tutorials. Yep. All right. Uh... I moved like five inches and it was already in the tutorial. Alright. The Saria Woodland. However you want to pronounce that. Where you are right now is a special kind of area known as a landmark. Yeah, you can fast travel to landmarks. So I am level... What level am I? So this is the kind of stuff that I took a while to try and learn. If I go to characters, like... This whole menu system to try and learn the stats and everything. It's mostly similar to the other game, but there is a few key differences. Um, I don't think I can... Great, and oh, wait, I have 133 points. This is a, a skill tree, quotation marks, like thing, basically. You can upgrade different things. Pretty self-explanatory for what they say. Increase agility by 20. Different stats, stuff like that. Accessories are things you put on to give you better stats. Um, right now, I have one ability, or whatever they're called. Arts, that's what they're called. And you unlock more. I can upgrade this if I want. Path of Thorns. So it has a 50% chance ratio. Oh, yeah. Canceling out. That just does Watch more damage. One later. Whenever you uh, cancel an auto attack. That's pretty good. And then Jin. What do you got, buddy? Increased damage dealt from the back. So you want to backstab people with this. It's hard to backstab people on, until you get like another, uh, another party member who can tank for you. And we don't have aux cores or anything like that. I'm not going to go too in depth of what all this complicated stuff is because that's exactly what it is it's complicated it took me a while to learn but yeah that's that that's the stat system i think we're gonna level up a little bit before we continue just because i don't want to be level on level two that's what i was gonna look at is that even in the characters area yeah i'm level, level two okay we get a little bit of experience no can't hurt right. just practice some fighting the I fights in this game are this. fun the music's cool too although so, okay, I see. There's a little circle at the bottom for when I can swap the gems. Got it. 
Oh, that's an attack I have to look into upgrading as well. That little, like, swap attack, it's its own thing you have to upgrade. And you just get those points for fighting. Come on, Jen, why are you missing so much? You gotta be better than this. It is our day. Shut up, Laura. We got this. So, there's no way for me to really get around to his back, which sucks. I have to do a cancel attack from that. Level up, let's go. And it seems like you heal every time you use the... Or every time you level up as well, which is nice. Dead. What's this thing, Majig? I should probably pick this up first. Beast meat? The heck is beast meat? Is that what even what I picked up? I picked up something blue. It looked cool. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to what exactly it was. I know it wasn't the beast me, I'm pretty sure. That is a big fatso. Let's go fight big fatso. He looks fun. I think we've been spotted. A bluffolo thingamajig. Dang, he did a lot of damage. This level two is packing a punch. Cancel attack up. Okay, so now I got the HP potion ability. Okay. So whenever I hit them, it drops an HP potion. This one does. Swap Jin. My boy Jin. Oh, we toppled him. I don't, I don't actually know how we toppled him, but we did. There's a, a, a system of... I don't know. It's its own, like, status chain. It goes break. You have to break them first. Then you can topple them, which is what happened there. I mean, normally you have to break them first. I'm not actually sure if we broke them first or not. But break, I don't actually know what break does. I think it just, I don't know if it does anything. It might lower their defense a little bit, but then you can go to topple, which disables them. Then there's, oh gosh. Uh, there's four. I think it's launch. Yeah. Topple, then launch, then smash. Launch just makes them turn flying there like a tornado and then smash smashes them to the ground it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i like it we're already level four yeah we're grinding up them levels i think i it depends on how much experience they get but i think i want to just get to level five and we can like move on i don't know kind of like pokemon i don't mind grinding as i go i don't like going back to grind you know like i i like Advancing the plot, I but I also don't mind doing a bit of grinding between things. It's fun too, especially because this battle system is pretty cool. The more abilities you get too, the more like engaging it is. And it's I think it's better than uh, the battle system in the base game as well. But yeah, at the moment, all we know for the story is these two have known each other for a long time. Jin's a blade. There's a war going on, and that, that's pretty much it. We're just kind of existing here. I don't. They haven't really explained what Jin and War are doing. I don't actually know if I even know at all. I don't know if they explained it in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Uh, this way. Oh, a big fatso. Another one. Dude, this guy looks so weird. He has such a small head. He has giant horns. He has absolute units of arms. But, as far as, uh, his head is concerned, it's kind of small. Oh, does that give break? Something gives break. What? We just did a launch? I am so confused. I gotta look at these abilities. Why am I breaking him? Oh, there's another set of abilities I want to look at. Actually, let me grab that. Help. Oh, it's gone. We'll do a level 2 special. Ooh. Get chopped up with ice particles, my boy. A damage heal. That's an ox core. Let's give him that. Ox cores are just upgrades. Everything's just upgrades. Just think of them like that. We got a lot of ox cores. Okay. Accuracy in the day. That sounds fun. Adds 25% chance of restoring core. Ooh, cool. We'll take that. Why not? It's free. Uh, something rear guard arts. Okay, so when they're in the back, they kind of just use abilities on their own, which is kind of cool. It took me a little while to figure out, like, how is it, like, what exactly are they doing? It's just random and stuff like that. And then the switch art is the art that you, they use when, uh, you. 
a switch. So, when Jin's in the back, he'll be casting spells, I guess, or whatever, that will increase damage dealt to launch enemies by 50%. Well, if they're not launched, it doesn't really do anything. And increases damage dealt to top of enemies. So, both of those are kind of useless. Although, wait, do they do damage? Oh, they have damage. Okay, so they actually do something besides just, you know, a little extra perk. And then I think when Laura's in the back, she has some abilities as well. Lowers enemy resist rate, no special effects. That's just straight up damage. So this gives launch. Okay. Do any of these give break? Oh, Hungry Snake gives break. Okay. Sure. What about Jin? Does this give top? Oh, that's how I get topple. Okay. So Laura has that ability to give break. Remember the chain break, launch, topple. No, I said that wrong. Break, topple, launch, smash. So I can do that combo right there and switch into him, get that topple, and then I don't think I'll have enough time. But if I did, I could switch back and get launch. It's kind of cool. I dig it. I dig it. There's lots of cool stuff we can explore for uh, the combat system. It's really fun. And that's the map. The purple marker is where the quest would like us to go. So we shall obey directions for the time being. pretty nice view. The graphics are... They, they look nice. I hope they look nice, like, on screen. I mean, it's not 720p, I don't think. I, I mean, I'm streaming in 720p, but I don't think the actual game is... It might be 720. But it looks good enough. It's fine. What happened? Are you alone? It's just the game itself. Oh, sorry, we found like a random survivor. person. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry, really. We're all good people. Promise. Can you walk? This poor guy hasn't said anything. He's traumatized. How is he the only survivor? Dang, I feel bad for him. I actually know who he is. Uh, he's a character from the base game. So I'm and interested to see his family? story expanded in this. Were they there with you? And for those... Should we go back? And... Mikau. Hmm? My name is Mikau. Oh, right. I'm Laura. And he's... I don't have a family. I was sold to this village from Estem. So, I'm all alone. Come with us, little I guy. See. We'll keep you safe. <laughs> My thought from earlier, I was just gonna say that... Right then. Starting today, we're don't going... Know who he is. ...to be your new family. We'll take you we back to, to our friends. Backstory first. You people, <laughs> you're strangers. You don't have to pretend to care. Uh, uh <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? He's going to be a handful, this one. Though really, I was just the same once. Very well. Friends first, then. Not family. How's that sound? Laura. Hmm? What's up? I'll scout the area. Look after him. Oh, of course. Be careful. And Jin. I know. What was that you said, Baldrick? The sea and capital of Omrantha has fallen. Or rather, it was annihilated. Praetor Redalus. So it has come to pass after all. Respectfully, you aren't much of an actor, Eminence. 
It appears you are not surprised at all. We heard disturbing rumors circling among the Magisters. Amalthus, whom you recently elevated to Quester? People wonder if this calamity has anything to do with that man's blade. With such extraordinary power, is it really wise to, uh... No matter whose power affected it, it is sure to serve the greater glory of Indal. The Architect will surely be pleased. Eminence, do you believe it can be controlled? If it cannot, I will let him take the blame. I have... spoken. Thank you for your report, Magister Baldrick. You may return to your duties. Hmm. And then it just switches the gameplay.